Tell me what season is better than fall. We start to pull the jackets out. We start to pull out the scullies. It's hoodie season. With fall, you're not dimming my light. Let's make one thing clear. The fall beast mode list of fragrances that I'm gonna give you right now is gonna be untouched by anybody. I wanna say that 98% of the fragrances that I've selected for this video are not going to be showcased on any other channel. Bro, I'm so impressed by this list that took me like a month to put together. Not really. This list is so hard that by the end of this video you're gonna be buying samples of everything let's roll my music so i can put you on to the 10 full beast mode fragrance list that you've been waiting for Good morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy, C3U to the B to the A, aka the rock star of the fragrance community. Talk to me nice. Listen to me. I'm a fall baby. My birthday is coming up. I'm going to be 78 years old. And there is nothing that gives me more life than a brisk fall morning. There's nothing that gives me more vibrancy or energy than that beautiful cooling air at 5 o'clock in the morning, which is usually when I get up, of like 50 degrees. And then when the afternoon just creeps by with that nice 63, 64, super comfortable. I hear LA has this type of energy. Listen, I might as well just move because it's life for me. It is the best season for fragrance, hands down. I don't want to hear it. Winter's cool, but fall is popping. You get a little bit of every season, a sprinkle of it. Today, you're going to have 48. This afternoon, you're going to get 68. Tomorrow, you're going to have 62. What's better for fragrance? But you still want some beast mode action with amazing sex appeal. Fall screams to me ambers, patchoulis, oodies, a little leather, tobacco, all the delicious bodied fragrances that I look for with bow is what I'm going to be putting you on today. Starting off with this absolute gem. This fragrance consists of amber, plum, cedar, and sex. And we're talking about Fort and Manly's amber, absolutely. And this is absolutely dripping wet sex appeal. For those of y'all not familiar with the house of Fort and Manly, ooh, it matches. They be producing some monsters. I got a couple of them coming real soon because I like to tap into the house of Fort and Manly when it's a little bit briskier outside. I don't think they really have something that's super bright or fresh for the summer. Not that I care. Summer just does shit for me when it comes to fragrance. Fall is where it's at. And if you're going to give me something delicious, floral, plummy, not to mention it being one of the most incredible plum fragrances that you've ever smelled, ambery and sexy, there's no way you're not going to put Fort and Manly on this list with a performance of at least 10 hours on my skin. No no cap. They only come in this size for a specific reason. The shit just lasts. Next one. Now this is a newer acquisition. I bought this joint in Miami. It had no purpose being worn in the hot weather, but guess who been rocking it? And this shit just does not come off the skin. And I'm gonna butcher the name. It's Fueguia Ocaxo. Bless you. What's in this fragrance? Sex. Heartthrob. Back when teeny bopper magazines were in, you saw your favorite badass actress on the front cover. What was it back then? It was like Tiffany Ann Bethesen. It was Topanga from Boy Meets World. World. What's that Tetona's name? Jennifer Love Hewitt. What? Mm, a beautiful floral, rosy, boozy rum scent profile with vanilla extract dripping all over it. It's a walking sex magnet. I should know. Totally flying under the radar. Also in the 10 hour performance space because this joint loves a gust of wind. Let me tell you, it just takes the fragrance, loops it around the windy little finger and just keeps it pushing. Oxato or whatever the hell it's called. I'll put the link in the description. Incredible beast mode for the fall. Next one. I've said it before and I'll say it again. This house, it's going to be the next hype next to like the perfumes, the Marley's of the world and all that other shit. Because me bisous oud hypnotique. Shh. When wearing this fragrance yesterday, something interesting happened. Yesterday was slightly chilly in the morning, right? And what ended up happening is from the nozzle, I get more of a rose oud combination, but a patchouli pop off of my skin really comes up slightly dirty, but formulating this, this like unique coating of earthiness on the skin, followed by the rose oud vanillic nuances of this scent profile. Then it starts to get nice and spicy. Like you just spun your spice rack, never covered any of the tops and shit just toppled over. That's what you're getting. It's kind of like an all spice 
cinnamony kind of scent profile that Oud Hypnotique has. This joint lasted at least 13 hours off my skin. No cap, performed incredibly well. That was like about a five and a half to six sprayer because I wanted this shit to live. And that was on skin, not on clothing. If you spray it on clothing, Lord knows how long this is gonna last. But Oud Hypnotique for the fall? Oof, next one. If this fragrance lasts you under 10 hours off your skin, I'd be highly surprised. Aaron Terrence Hughes' Tabac is a monster of performance. This is tobacco and steroids in a bottle. Like this shit is running on three cycles of Tren, Anavar, Winstrol V, a little Deca, with a sprinkle of laxative, cause it's the shit. All body, it's all tobacco. It's all punchy oud with incredible florals. There is a denseness and a thickness of this fragrance that just wraps around you like the Boy in the Bubble movie with Travolta back in like the 60s or 70s, whatever. The only way this fragrance is not gonna attract the opposite sex is they have a vaccine for this shit, cause it's fire, very sexy, perfect for the fall. If you're a tobacco lover and just been looking to step away from everybody else's hype train, Tobacco by Aaron Terrence Hughes is a tremenda bomba. Next one. Now, I wouldn't consider myself a raging alcoholic. Uh, you, you know, the, the strain, it's, it's strange. Because I don't go to meetings, but if you like a whiskey fragrance, there has to be a top 10 in the space. And if Unique Luxuries Coute is not in that list, I don't know what you're doing in life. You're probably drunk somewhere. It's more like a whiskey dessert at this point. It's whiskey and melted caramel. Sugary condensed milk type scent profile off of my skin with a heavy punch of blow into this tube. Oops, it's seven times over the legal limit. That sounded very specific, right? Pfft, lawyer fees. If you doubt any unique luxury fragrance performance, you've never tried it. It's insane. This never hovers anywhere under seven hours. It just doesn't. It's physically impossible. One spray, maybe half a spritz, will last you like seven hours. This shit lasts forever. This is an eternity. This has to come with a retirement plan and a 401k with a tax deferred option because I'm telling you, this boozy grenade will either get you arrested or you will die with this smell in your casket. Say I will smack this thing up. Ooh, nigga. It doesn't stop. It's like spraying cirrhosis of the liver on your body, yet walking around with a big schlong just hanging. This is big dick energy all day. Next one. Now is the opportunity for me to really test this puppy out. We're talking about Mizzen Sir Amber Magie. For me, it's amber and mandarin that pops off this fragrance. And like the fall, you have your bright sunny days that are a little bit warmer than others, and you got your sweeter rich days. For me, it's more like sour and broker days, but same, same. This is a heartthrob of a fragrance. Mizzen, sir, is just another one of those sleeper houses that is now starting to get some notoriety out there because other content creators are figuring out what beautiful wizardry is going on with these fragrances. And Amber Magique is beautiful. It's citric, it's vanillic, it's ambery. You got a little bit of a musky base followed with this rich amber grease scent. Pro this is incredibly sexy. For me, this has been a hovering in that nine hour space, but it hasn't gotten as much wear in the fall. But trust me, this is something that if it has bulk in warmer weather, imagine in chillier. Next one. I had to put a Perfumes de Marley fragrance in this list because it just screams fall, but it's not the Perfumes de Marley that you're thinking of. This fragrance is probably the redheaded child of the Perfumes de Marley lineup, and we're talking about Nissian, which can be worn in the fall or the winter, will perform incredibly well in both, and this is a banger that I've neglected for years. The notes in this fragrance are like amber, patchouli, lime, pepper, sex, followed by sex, mixed with sex, ending with a little slow neck. Seven Seven weeks of performance. That's the type of beast mode that we're talking about here. The projection on this joint, massive. If you walk into the mall with this scent profile, and I'm giving you an inspirational like picture in your head of a scenario that happened to me walking into Neiman with this particular scent profile on, trust me, security guard was like, who's this motherfucker Thank you. Like it comes in with such a cocky attitude, this scent profile. And if you spray it the amount of times that I've sprayed this fragrance, people are just gonna look at you either disturbed, who the hell this guy thinks he is? Oh, pff, broke motherfucker thinking he all big. Like you're gonna get attitude from this scent profile because that's what kind of bubble you're walking in. It's like you're walking in with an entourage, but nobody's with you because nobody like you. You've tried the Leightons, you've tried the Carlisles, you've tried the Percival, you've tried the Haltane. Just put those to the side for a second. Try Nissim and then talk to me nice. Next one. I had to put my scent of the day in here because so far we're at a six hour point and this shit is still kicking like Bruce Lee. 1990s joke all day. We're talking about Ramon Monegal Mon Pachuli. I don't know if you could even call this joint Pachuli. This is just amber musk with like gingery spiceness and old labdanum. Like I smell the You can eat my ass. Never mind, I went too far. Is nobody talking about this fragrance? Has nobody tried this fragrance? Please try. If you're an amber fan, I guess patchouli, there's some patchouli in here, but it's really an amber fragrance and a really sick amber fragrance. Like for me, this would slap Grand Soir in the face. I know a lot of people like Grand Soir. I it's okay. This shit just bang, 
real, just, just a quickie right here, just a, you know, a little snoring. Patchouli Amber or Labdanum. That has about a 10 hour longevity on it. What else do you need? Next one. We're coming down to the wire, folks. And if I'm gonna throw a full beast in there, I gotta throw a little Morescu Sol Batik. Ay, mi madre. If we're just gonna be talking about delicious incense vibes, I don't wanna remove this from my nose right now. I wanna surgically implant this like a chip that we're all gonna be walking around with in the next five years in our brains, just attached to the nose, as good as this stupid shit is. Vanilla, incense, cardamom, amber also, pepper. It's a sexual deviant of a fragrance. Now, you gotta remember, I'm compiling a beast mode for fragrance list that's unique and sexy. What else do you want? What do we wear fragrances for? You either wear fragrances for you or you wear them for somebody else. Either way, it doesn't matter however you decide to wear this shit. Just wear it and then let me know what you think. Finally, potentially the most inexpensive fragrance on this list by the House of Ajmal, Amber wood. Ajmal makes some fragrances that last like an ED pill. Cedar wood, amber, apple, lavender. Wow. Another 10 hour plus beast off the skin. You can shop it around. It'll live around that 120 some odd dollar, maybe $150 space. Really look for it. You might potentially get it even cheaper, but the price point does not reflect this scent profile at all. If you like a little bit of a Leighton with a stronger wood accent, this is kind of what you're going to get from amber wood. It is not a Leighton clone and it doesn't smell exactly like Leighton, but the apple note, the lavender note, the cardamom vibes, has similarities to Leighton, but this is a lot woodier with a little bit of a dirty wood. So it's got like a cedar essence followed by a little bit of a dirtier, dark woody vibe with almost as equal performance, to be honest with you. This is a little bit more richer and a little bit more denser. You're getting so much for the money when it comes to this fragrance and you're not slacking on sex appeal at all. 10 incredible fall fragrances that live in the beast mode category. Let me know what you think of this list. Comment below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe subscribe. Enjoy the fall season, baby, because it is our time. This is our weather. If you're from the Upper East Coast or if you're from Chile weather vibes, you know that fall is fragrance life and we live in it, baby. I love y'all mother suckers from the heart and I'll see y'all stitches next time. You know who it is biggest in the game. Smooches. Who's best? One of them's gonna pass the test. Who buy that? Put the fly gun, hold a money, hold a roller, star tag when it's time to call back. For the rough, rugged, and raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. Hey. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. Hey. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would. <laughs>